Hey YouTube, I'm Coach Dragon Martin. Welcome to a new video. Today we'll be VOD reviewing a gold one chamber and looking at his kill participation to see how well he's impact fragging and where he can improve. As you guys know, I'm coaching now, and if you're interested in being coached by me, check out my coaching options on metafi.gg slash at Dragonmar. There are short-term and long-term coaching options available. And if you have any questions, just shoot me a DM on Discord. With that being said, if you guys enjoy these videos, remember to leave a like and subscribe, and let's get started. All right, guys, jumping into the VOD review here. As you guys know, we'll be ranking each round based on the five-star system, one being the worst, five being the best. And remember that those are based off of impact, which ties into the title of the video, where we're going to be looking at chamber gameplay and thinking about the impact of each kill. Right here, get a little bit aggressive, push up, gonna get a kill. Kill on jet there. Now, a lot of teammates around the jet as well. So again, that kill wasn't necessarily super high impact, but it was still very important, right? But here, unfortunately, gonna plant close. No one's gonna be there to cover, which I don't love. I also think you were planting in a bit of a weird spot. Um, you could have been back a little more. Remember, when you plant over here, you generally want someone to be holding or you wanna quickly clear it so you know you're safe. Unfortunately there, you do die, but still decent, decent round overall but nothing really crazy. So let's go three stars in the first round. All right, guys, so when we look at Chamber, we immediately have to, uh, you know, judge him based off of one particular stat, and that is gonna be kills, okay? Chambers need to get kills, but in particular, a certain kind, okay? Those are obviously high impact kills. What are high impact kills? Well, one is first bloods, right? First bloods is a category we like to see our Chambers have a lot of kills in. now. They don't generally get a lot of kills on attack when it comes to first bloods. Defense is more so where we'll see that. But at the same time, you still want them to be fragging out. Because remember, if your chamber is not getting kills on defense or attack, he's not doing his job, right? Chamber is an agent that is built around getting kills and taking aggressive fights and then repositioning with the teleporter. So here he will get two kills. Unfortunately, team is still going to lose this round. Not going to be able to take any positioning off of those kills does an okay job we'll go with four stars here because he was getting kills the problem was that no one was making a playoff it right so that that was more of the issue all right but as i was saying we have to judge chambers based off of the impact of their kills first bloods is an easy category to look at on attack it's a little bit harder for them to do that they have a much easier time on defense because remember they don't have a lot of abilities to work with here you know chambers a very selfish age selfish agent right very similar to how arena is where Reyna just pretty much plays for herself most of the time. Chamber, very similar. So we'll be judging him pretty harshly based on the impact of the kills he gets right here. Just going to completely whiff his shots. Let's go back for a second. Let's see. Can we identify anything? Mm, does kind of flick over. Crouch from the stage. Not going to land a shot there. Unfortunate, but this was a bit of a save round. So we'll go with two stars here. He does try to push in, apply some pressure positioning wise. Uh, just not able to get a kill. So now you might be asking, right? Well, how can you have impact on attack? Simple. He's got to have good positioning, play off of his teammates. That Omen just did that like twice in a row, should not have done that bad play by their Omen. He's already done that, I think, in the, not the last round, the round before that. But the half impact with Chamber guys on attack, in particular, where you can't really use your teleporter the same way you can on defense with those aggressive pushes, it's all about positioning. So right here, I love this. He's going in with the team. He's not the first one in, but he's there. He's ready to get trades. Trading is the name of the game. Oh, I don't like this positioning. He should, he should stop re-peaking this. And him and his jet should be playing together here. Yeah, so right here, fights are going to get isolated. He does end up killing the Sage and gets a nice follow-up onto the player up in Nest as well. Don't love the positioning from him and his teammate. Would have liked to have seen them play together more. There should be no way that those fights are getting isolated. Remember, trading's the name of the game, especially in a post-plant. Take your 2v1s. Do not take the 1v1s. Still able to clutch out there. Great round from him overall. Five stars in that round. That was great. So that was pretty fun, right? I mean, that's exactly what I was just talking about. When it comes to having impact on attack as a chamber, you do that through your positioning and through trading kills, right? So great job there. Let's see. Sticking with his Reyna here. I like this. Uh, going to be in the kitchen here, going for the plants on B. Sky on a big lurk. Uh, I'd love to see that Sky actually move her body instead of just becoming a stationary object over on A. Um, there is an opper in that back lane. Oh, no. Sorry. He actually... I can't even tell where that op was. Yeah, he was in the in near spot, it looked like. And gonna die to the omen here. So let's take a look at this. How do we die here? Amy's to the left, omen comes from the right, and just gonna miss the flick. Very simple mechanical error here. This isn't crosshair placement, this is just missing a flick. And can't adjust in time. Omen turns, sprays him with a, with a phantom. Really unfortunate there. Not gonna have really any impact in this round. 
I like the positioning early on. We'll go two stars there. So that last round was a really good example of the difference between crosshair placement, which is game sense, and then mechanical aim, and then which one is failing, right? So right there, he's aiming at the left, which is fine. He's got to just, you got to choose a side to aim at. Now he could have used cover to aim at his right there to aim at that window opening, but he chose not to. So in that situation, he's got to be able to make the flick. He misses the flick, he loses. That's the mechanical error. That's where, you know, that's where you aim lab gamers would be happy, right? Because that's where you'd be feeling more comfortable on those flicks. Regardless though, he's going to be pushing in here to A with his team. Uh, the wall goes down by the Viper. He's going to be pushing into sight here. Um, I don't know about running around with knife out. I, I would at least, I don't know, like was backside actually clear that whole time? I mean, I know you guys got some kills there, but I'm not sure if it was fully clear. So there's info on the flank now. Okay, dart. Yep, that's not going to be a worry to you. Don't worry about it. So jets close. We can see that on the mini map, right? When we're in something like this, guys, we're always looking at our mini map, right? We want to get as much info as we can. We're going to be a little locked down here. So the mini maps are our best friend. Ooh, we're going to turn the corner and just, oh man, th these are not good uh, shots here with the Guardian. Yeah, your sensitivity is looking a little weird here. You kind of like flick off of him at one point. Um, unfortunately, after that first kill on Omen, not much is going to happen. I think you could have done way better in this round. We'll go three stars there. All right, so we're on round seven now. Going to see our first ultimate of the game. I think he held this a little bit. Um, he definitely could have tried to grab an orb earlier or just use it earlier. Because again, right, part of what makes Chamber so strong is the fact that he essentially gets a pocket op, you know, whenever he wants <laughs> for the most part. So I think it's a good idea to try to get these, farm them up, use as many as you can per half. But it looks like he should be able to get two in this half at the very least, which is nice. Um, let's see what he's able to do with it. So if you're going to be using the Tour de Force here, I'd rather see him play on belt. He also is carrying spike. I don't see any reason for him to plant here when he's using his ult. Um, staring at a Leer also not a good idea, I would say, overall. Missing the first shot. Out in the open, full blind. Remember, guys, he has the spike. This is why we don't... He should not have the spike right now. So that's a misplay. Right, I would be drop, dropping the spike off to somebody else. Asking for a heal from my sky would not be... Yeah, see, positioning here. I just don't understand, like, th this doesn't... This is not what we just saw from you. you had great positioning earlier, and now you're walking in, you know... Full vision of screen there. One shot with the spike. Really, really poor play. One star here. All right, we want to see some more impact frags here. So moving into round eight, let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can get a first blood maybe. Get some nice trades. Reyna going to grab the first blood onto a player in mid. Now you guys are going to be able to push over here onto A with an advantage. Omen spotted in nest. Could be summoning these smokes. Make sure you clear them properly. Looks like Jet will be the one that actually clears the smoke. All right, going to be moving around here. Reyna, going to run through maze. You're moving in. Yep, you're kind of following your teammates. This is smart. I like the positioning. So you're in a spot where you're able to trade for them. Um, Definitely want to be getting this spike down, though, I would say. Feels like, oh, it's not worth dying. Yeah, it's not worth dying for that, I don't think. Um, You guys had full sight control there. There's no reason to die for that ult. I would just get out of there, plant later. You know, let him use his ult if he wants to. Um, Do whatever you can to live, essentially. So that's a, that's a really, really uh, poor sort of decision. I understand the value of trying to get spike down, but you, you had plenty of time and sight control. One star there. So the impact frags have slowly started to fade away. Less and less kills here on attack. Let's see if we can change it up here. Jet spotted. You're not even going to even move off of it. You're just going to keep holding that one angle for your teammates. I don't really know why, right? Like if we look at our mini map, Jet spotted right here, three seconds in, right? And you never even try to turn for her even after you clear this. Um, Would have liked to have seen you do that at the very least. But let's see what happens here. Moving in. We know she was back yellow. Another player, two players there. Yep, break that good and, and swing it. There we go. You gotta be careful. Don't wanna get marshaled through the wall. Okay, ability's going in. Gonna be putting down your TP. So see this, see how you're clearing this time? This is a little bit better here. Um, I like that because now you know they can't push you. Um, a little risky on how you're you're clearing that. You kind of, I felt like, are almost stuck in the wall. So just make sure you're clearing properly, um, peeking the right angles, isolating your gunfights is the name of the game, right, guys? Isolating your gunfights is, is proper peeking. Uh, video about that, hopefully coming soon. Uh, and so the last player spotted on the flank. Now right here, I'm just playing off of my sky. No reason for me to be holding this angle. Um, essentially, you're holding an angle with no support. Yep, see right there, if you would have died, your team would have been in a 1v1. Teammate flashes you guys, which was very thoughtful of him. Okay, going for a dart here. No reason really to take a fight here, but if you guys are playing together, it's fine. In the end, you do play together. 
but before that that was not looking very solid at least you get the kill early again though just not feeling very mm, how do i say this i feel like you're not thinking everything through with your decisions right now the decision making is definitely worrying me but you do have decent impact in the round we go four stars there all right so starting off the next round here and remember guys this is not a good trip to use okay let's zoom in on this this trip here don't use this trip right this doesn't make any sense right because all people are going to do is they're just going to walk around it and then they have a flank on you also don't leave the spike either that's also really bad all right let's keep it moving here now don't trip there don't leave the spike behind let's see if it ends up biting them here it probably won't but we'll see it occasionally does especially on icebox that's i believe three players spotted on the minimap right yep Okay, just going for the spray here. Everyone peeking one by one. A lot of one by one peeks. Early kills. Go in favor of the enemy team. There's a trade. Not really a trade. Just another 1v1 that your stage ends up winning. Spike was still down on flank. Now you guys are going to go grab it. Thankfully, it doesn't look like any of them ended up pushing up here. They might just honestly be stacking A. There's the res. Back here with 3v5. Teammate peeks again with Spike. Dies. And now you guys are in a 2v5. What have you done during this round? Is my question. You have aimed at a wall and aimed at a, maybe a smoke, sprayed a little bit. Not much contribution here. And again, that's what we're looking at. When we look at chambers, we have to look how many kills are they getting? What are the impact of the kills? What are they doing to help with their very limited utility? The answer in this round is almost nothing. One star. All right. So going to be pushing into A here on round 11. Again, you're the first one kind of up here right now. So a little bit dangerous positioning. You're also stepping out of your TP, which I don't know why you wouldn't put it further forward there. So you have a better better options with that kind of a weird decision from you honestly um that tp is like almost built for pipes and you never once were up there are right, gonna go for the plant and the ult here player directly above you and he could i think he can look uh well he probably can't look down if you, if you have guys up there covering um so maybe that's why he didn't try to peek you i would like to see you get out of here i just i just don't think it's worth standing on the spike there we go i'm glad you got off of it briefly 5v3 here Player on the flank as well. Make sure you call it out. Looks like you do. Player to your right. Yep. Use your mini map. Charge that guy. There you go. So you could have charged him. Remember, he, once you go and dismiss, like they, they got nothing. Going to TP behind to go for the kill. No bullets. That's a bad choice there. That's that's a little bit of over aggression for no reason. Um, but you do get a nice kill. Get the spike down. A little aggressive to start. We're going to go three stars here. I didn't love your positioning in this round again. All right, guys. So we, ha we have not seen a single operator buy. Remember, opping with Chamber is probably one of his strong suits. Definitely something I'd like to see you try to do more often. Also, Tour to Force, not going to be getting us much value either. These are both massive parts about playing Chamber. So let's see if he can pick it up here. This is, this is, this is going to be his second Tour to Force, second ult. And uh, let's see what he's, what he's able to accomplish. I don't like that he's running around with Vandal out, right? Like the whole point of having that ult is using it. He's just going to completely... Just avoid the fact that someone can be up top in sight. They're going to die for nothing to the jet. Die with ult. Zero kills with ult during this half. One star on the round. Well, guys, after the like the start of the first half, I feel like the impact started to fade. Remember, impact frags on attack are generally going to be those first kills of the game. The first two, roughly. Those are where the highest impact are going to come. It's either going to be on the first blood, on the trade of the enemy first blood, or some type of like sick double kill play, right? Like those are where the biggest impacts are. We didn't see a ton of that after those first few rounds. And here again, going to be coming in on the rotate, going to be going for the kill on the Reyna, not looking for a headshot, just looking for a body shot and unable to finish off the player. So now we're on defense, starting pistol round and unable to get a kill, right? And, and Chamber, again, with one of the strongest pistol kits in the game, uh, just because he essentially has that pocket guardian. So not great there. We're going to go with, unfortunately, two stars. So if you guys are wondering how to have impact with Chamber on defense, it's much easier. So what you want to do is use your teleporters to push up and get more aggressive. Take more aggressive positions, take off angles, isolate fights that aren't normally able to be isolated. Put yourself into risky positions and abuse the teleporter, the main utility of Chamber, abuse that to the fullest okay and if you do not do that you are not playing chamber properly it's that simple otherwise why are you playing the agent in this round no aggression really gonna be sitting on site hit headshots the jet no kill it's an eco two stars all right so looks like we're gonna be getting a bit more aggressive maybe in this next round gonna be solo holding b here we have teleporter over in snowman pressure in mid already oh i'd love to see a peek here you're, you're holding an angle oh man i don't like this positioning at all um, I, I don't even know why you would be standing against the, that side of yellow 
Like you're, you're the whole reason you're playing chamber is to use that teleporter to get into these positions. Let's see what happens here. Okay, that's three spotted. I think maybe even four spotted over on A right now. You definitely should be rotating. Um, unless you're, you know, you're worried about this flank or or the lurk play from whoever, you know, is around. Gonna be moving back over here now. So at this point, your team looks like it has season control. I'm assuming the reason you're staying here um, was because that trip got broken. So now you're worried about the kitchen, right? So I understand that's why. Um, you definitely could have walked over here earlier and went into here to clear it if you wanted. That's not a bad idea. Essentially, you're giving up B site uh, to make sure that kitchen is clear, which isn't a bad idea, I don't think. Rotating over here to A. Both players were there. Again, no impact in this round. I didn't like your positioning, but again, no impact. Three stars. All right, another round in another just essentially AFK position. You're this. This is there's nothing special about where you're playing. You're not using your aggression. Um, you're not trying to take early early fights in early advantage. You're just playing a very straightforward, simple spot. And at the end of the day, that's all fine and dandy. But that's not what Chamber is good at. You know, Chamber is good at something else, and you have to play to the strengths of your agent. There's a reason I don't play Jet. I'm not good enough with the knives, right? I'm not. I'm not used to dashing. You know. There's a reason I don't play Raze. I'm not good with the satchels, right? And the reason I don't play Chamber is because I'm not going to be the one to push and get those aggressive first kills, use my teleport to get away. That's just not what I want to do right now. I want to play Smokes, right? But if you play Chamber, you have to do it. It's part of the deal, okay? Because if you don't do it, well, hopefully someone else who chooses Chamber will, right? So I think right now that's my biggest problem with what we've seen from defense so far. The lack of aggressive plays based off your teleporter here, you know, you're going to get some shots onto the Sage. Let's just look at the crosshair placement really quick. A little bit low as you're walking up, right? A little low. Turn, flick, eh, whatever. Three stars here. Not much impact again on this round. Okay, so you've got another TP placed over here at yellow. Another TP over in Snowman. Again, no aggression, not swing, standing still. Crosshair placement is low as well. I don't think anyone's head is going to be right there. You're going to have to uh, push up a little bit. Let's see if we get, uh, get to see what this looks like if you take a fight here. Okay, gonna go for the TP off of the kill from Reyna. Looks like Reyna was able to find, you know, someone, yeah, Reyna was able to find an angle, it looks like, probably from Belt onto your guy on rafters there, which is unfortunate. Okay, now you're clearing mid. Again, I'm just not really sure. Okay, mid, okay, what's happening? Why are we not even paying attention at all to the mid push? That's crazy that you didn't look here. You just walk through this without even looking to your right or going on top of boiler. I do not like that at all from you. That's three. Okay, three players are spotted. Let's start turning around here. There we go. Perfect. Reyna with a great lurk. There's the spike. All right, let's see what happens. Let's speed this up a little bit. You're going to get over here. You're behind the smoke now. Okay, player spotted. You're behind smoke still. Can't support your jet. Smoke fades. Oh, no. They didn't just ring around the rosy, did they? Did they go all the way back to A? No way. Oh, nope. Hold on. We're going to get some fights here. Okay. We're going to take the fight with the jet. This has to be a kill. Let's watch this again. Peek. Peek yellow. Oh, man. Yep. That's just... That's poor crosshair placement. Looks like the flick as well is something you're going to mess up. That's something I've been seeing more from you. I don't normally see that, but it honestly looks like the, the adjustments you're making aren't great. That was a great headshot, though. And you guys should win the round off of that, but... Again, just not much impact here. You know, good kill. I'll give you three stars at least because you got the kill. But like outside of that, like it just, I feel like you're not playing chamber the way we want you to play chamber, right? You're not getting the impact in these rounds. All right, so this round again, we're playing the same exact position. We haven't tried mid really. We haven't tried pushing tube. We haven't played out any part of A. We've just been kind of defaulting over here behind yellow, not being aggressive and just kind of waiting for things to come to us. I don't love this. I don't love this at all, right? Part of what makes Chamber so strong is his ability to take early fights, you know, abuse good aim, and then a fast getaway. Essentially, what's a get out of jail free card, right? How many times have we seen you do that so far in this game? The answer, pretty much zero, okay? That's something I definitely want you to work on because right now, this is just not the proper way to play Chamber. As we push through here, Skies can get the final kill. Again, another round where you just don't have an impact. So three stars. I mean, at the end of the day, guys, he, like these rounds very easy. I could just give them all one star, right? Because you're not having an impact. Um, your impact in these rounds essentially is just the fact that you have a trip for Kitchen and that you're another body on the team that maybe might sway how the enemy team views what they need to do, right? But it's just not enough. 
you know it's just not enough um right here though finally getting a kill getting the equalizer bring this back to a 4v4 that was extremely risky wow that was such a risky play for me to teleport in there i don't know i mean if you meant to do that and that was your play all along i mean props to you but it's crazy that you did that great kills though here finally having some impact again oh react to the minimap oh no oh geez man that's really unfortunate right through the grates there and gonna die to the sage let's watch this fight really quick making a lot of noise a lot of noise swing in the corner aiming into the wall you know when you peek this you got to clear it properly look at this ready aim into the wall she swings to her left at the right time these are being noisy free kill for her good job overall but you really did not do well there at the end gonna have to go with three stars again um good kills but at the end of the day there you have to be peeking properly you have to be able to close out this round and I, we honestly just started another round you know sitting essentially on b site watching the the tube push i mean the there has been no change in positioning there has been no attempt at aggression there has been no op buys no tour to force kills you know this does not feel like i'm watching chamber it feels like i'm watching like a cypher with no abilities right now right this is not the type of play i was i want to see from you right here you're also going to take a fight miss hold out in the open kind of move back you're holding the tightest angle in the world let's watch this angle again ready the crosshair crosshair you're not clicking fast enough for that one so we got to make sure we're holding wider again no kills no impact no value one star okay two to four is coming out on round 20 here your jet is also going to be opping b that's something you could have done earlier for sure remember buying the op on chamber definitely a valuable thing um i think that chamber right now is probably the best op agent in the game Again, Tour de Forest going for the early, you know, not an early rotate, but just rotating in general. That res is going to be on the Reyna. Now you've got the Omen Smoke down blocking your vision, so you're not really going to be able to do anything here. Going to move back over into, it looks like mid, maybe going to go boiler here. Again, we've done nothing to really help this round. Teammates are pushing up. Another smoke here. Sage spot. These guys are, are way far away. You're going to have to rotate. Yep. Kills are now coming again. 3v3 at this point. Looks like some of your teammates probably got a bit too aggressive there. Maybe got a little too carried away. Jet's going to be holding B for you. Viper's going to wall through A. Really, that's a weird Viper wall, but fair enough. Okay, going to be holding mid here. Viper, if you're going to hold mid, yeah, you need your teammate to go hold A. There's the plant going down. Would have loved some more comms here, maybe from your jet. Not sure why. That wasn't called out. Just been holding a very passive position, I'm guessing. And now we're in post plant. 3v3 with two ops. It's not great. You do have a Vandal, though, which is kind of nice. Um, let's see what the play is. Oh, player spotted up top. Player spotted. Oh, why are we not looking at the mini map at all? Um, that guy was on there for a while. The Omen was spotted at top site. Yep, get out of that. That's fine. There's plenty of time to work with here. Someone go stick. Someone go stick. Viper. No, Viper can't die here. Viper needs to live. One of you guys needs to go die. And now no one's tapping the spike. There's just not enough time. This guy can play time. He doesn't have to peek at all. And you guys should lose this. Your jet actually runs away as well to save her off. Just a horrible play from you and your team there. Um, that's a one star round. That no synergy. No one working together. Where's the call outs? Why is the Viper pushing when the Viper is the one with the vision denial? That yeah, can't be doing that. One star. All right, so in this round, he starts again on B site, ends up rotating to A, then back to B. Spike now down at B. I have seen him play B every single round of the game. On defense, that can never happen. You have to be unpredictable with Chamber because he's changing up where you're playing, taking the high ground on uh, B site, on yellow, taking high ground on A, pushing up uh, you know, through Maze, past Orb on A, uh, pushing mid every now and then, maybe through Tube. You cannot play so one-dimensional. You, you had almost no impact in this game after the first couple rounds um one star in this round all right guys so let's kind of get into the like the post-match summary here of this vod kind of my main takeaways so the biggest thing is you're not having enough impact and that is clear but the the question is why why are you not having impact you're playing too passive okay your play style is way too passive on defense to be playing as chamber chamber is ultra aggressive and he's best used by people who like to take early aim duels and then instantly get away people with really high headshot percentages and people who like to snipe okay you weren't really doing any of that very well so in my opinion if you're going to keep playing chamber you have to completely change your play style now 
On defense in particular, this is where we're expecting first bloods from you. I don't know if we saw a single one looking back. You need to be trying to change up where you're playing. Play A one round, play B, play mid, push two, play high ground. Change up where you're playing, but you have to go for early peaks. All of the positions you played were relatively passive or just straight up normal positions that any agent can play. You want to be playing in off angles and in uncommon spots where the enemy team won't expect you that are normally one and done. You get a kill, you die. But with Chamber, you can teleport, so you never die. That's what we need to see from you, okay? I think that is going to be my biggest takeaway. You have to incorporate aggression and unpredictability into the way you're playing, especially your positioning, um, because that is absolutely holding you back. And I know one of your things was you want to play with your higher rank friends. You're going to get destroyed, okay? You need to work on that, th on, on, on the things I'm talking about here, because if you're playing chamber like this in your game, I can guarantee you have low first bloods, and that's also never a good sign. I would also say that on defense, you want, or excuse me, on attack, overall, I think you were playing a little better. Your positioning was a bit better, but you have to be very, very cognizant of where you are. You should not be dying for free. You should be making sure you're playing around your teammates, able to trade out those kills. But I felt like a lot of the times you were missing things on the mini map and just standing out in the open. Your peaks are too wide. Crosshair placement wasn't great either. Looking into a lot of walls, low crosshair in missing some flicks too. Um, I'm very curious about your sensitivity. That might be something you want to look at as well. But essentially with all that being said, if there's one thing I, I want you to change, it is the lack of aggression because that just does not work on chamber. And hopefully that's able to help. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Take it easy and peace.